So this is your boy Gunman Shift. It's my first video on YouTube. First official video that I'm dropping. A lot of people been requesting this video. So I'm here to deliver and just talk about all the details that you guys need to know. We just hit 1K subscribers. So thank you guys for that. Appreciate you guys. Uh, you know, the grind doesn't stop here. We're gonna keep grinding and putting out content, doing more fun stuff and, you know, educational stuff on 2A and everything, everything 2A. So yeah, so look out for that. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. And yeah, ever, first video I'm dropping today, I decided to finally do a video because a lot of people have been asking me questions about how can they get a pistol permit in New York City. So that's what I'm about to do my video on, give you guys some details, some rundown on what you guys need to do to get the process started, started, and go from there. So all right. As you guys know, New York State is an anti-gun state. Um, before, it used to be hard to get a pistol permit. You would have to have some form of business. Now, New York is a shall issue state. So, now I'm just gonna give you guys the rundown on stuff you need to do to get this um, process underway. So, all right, if you live in New York City, the first thing you wanna make sure if you're gonna apply for this pistol permit, it's gonna cost money. It's not gonna be cheap. I'm not gonna beat around the bush and tell you, oh, it's gonna be cheap. It's not gonna be cheap. It's gonna be pricey. You have to pay for the 16 hour safety course. You have to buy a gun. You have to pay for the application fee and you have to pay for your fingerprint. So it's gonna, if you live in New York City, it's gonna run you at least $1,000 to get this process up and going. So as you guys know, I do have a pistol permit for New York City. As you can see, I have a SIG, it is empty. I made sure prior to this video so you guys could see. It's a P365 and I got a, Hollis and red dot or green dot on it so yeah and I have a couple more in the collection but this is just my EDC this is my favorite um so it is possible you could get long, long guns handguns shotguns whatever type of guns you guys want you can get it it is possible all right so first of all Let's get down to the main thing that you guys have to take care of to start this process in order to get this process on the road. First of all, you guys definitely got to take a 16 hour safety course. The 16 hour safety course is basically telling you the do's, the don'ts, everything about the sensitive location stuff. Um, <clears throat> all right, so first thing you, you have to do the 16 hour course it's mandatory, it's no if, no buts, no maybes about it. It's something you have to do before you even decide to start the process. Cause if you don't have that 16 hour course and they decide that you have a fingerprint or whatever, you need to have that 16 hour course in order to put your application in. It's a must. So anyways, after the 16 hour course, you could find out places in your area, anywhere in New York state, anywhere in New York city that offers the course you could go and do the course it's pretty simple just call your local um gun stores ffl whatever ask them if they offer the course and then go and take the course and go from there so boom you get the course out of the way now it's time to deal with all the paperwork all the information they're gonna ask for to do this my suggestion is the best thing about this no, the best thing about this is you don't have to print paperwork out to do this stuff. Everything is online. You submit every document online. So every document you get and they ask you for, you submit it online. So that's the main thing with all of this. All right, so first off, first off, 
you have to create a um, account on the NYPD licensing division. Um, once you create that account, you can go ahead and start your paperwork. You have your 16 hour course, that's mandatory. You have to do it. Before it used to be a four hour course, they changed it last year when the Supreme Court overturned the New York gun laws. Um, so now New York is a shot issue state. They can't ask you, oh, why do you need a gun, whatever. Um, once you get out on the road, just make sure as long as you're not a felon, um, if you've ever been in trouble with the law and you're not a felon or whatever the charge was, just if you're going to do so, make sure you disclose all of that stuff to them on paper because they're going to know. They're going to do the investigation. They're going to find out if you've ever been in trouble with the law. No, if you had a speeding ticket, it does not... Um, if, if you have a speeding ticket, it's not a big deal. So that doesn't mean you were a thing. It's just like major stuff like felons, stuff like that. So anyways, first off, if you've ever been arrested, criminal court summons and dispossessions, whatever, if it applies to you, make sure you put that on the application. If you've ever been arrested, put that on the application. Don't leave it out, because if you leave it out, then they're gonna question you you know why why were you leaving this out so all of that stuff you ever been arrested in the past put it in it and go from there um you have a couple forms that you got to fill out uh you have the current safeguard form you have to fill that out um so that means if something was to happen to you you have somebody that is responsible to turn that firearm in if something was to happen to you or whoever family member however you do it um utility bills you have to have either a cable bill a con edison bill national grid grid national grid you have to have so you have to have a cable bill con edison bill national grid mortgage uh some of them take internet bills so if you pay internet whatever you do you could use that also Secondly, they want you to upload a copy of your social security to their portal so they have it in their system. I guess however they're going to do that. I don't I really don't know what's the point of you uploading your social security into their database. All right. Secondly, this is the DD214. This is your notarized reference so you need four references the references don't got to be somebody that lives in new york city or new york state it could be wherever they could live in baltimore texas delaware florida north carolina they could live wherever in the u.s as long as they're in the u.s and those persons are the person that you're going to use for your references you could just reach out to them and you have to have it notarized that's like the key thing you have to have it notarized they have to have a specific contact time or the best contact time so when the investigator call they answer and they're just giving a short statement saying that you know they're aware you're applying for a gun license and you're you're in good you're you're in good moral character you know as in like you know it could be whatever it doesn't have to be an essay you don't have to do a extra writing for that all right so the next form you're gonna fill out is the affirmation of familiarity form uh that means you you know the law you know what's going on in new york city um you're aware of all the things that have to do with the sensitive location stuff those are stuff that you want to you know just on paper they want to have so they know you read whatever you needed to read read um then you're gonna want to have your dmv lifetime driving record um you so even if you lived in california three five years ago all of that driving record they need that from california to put on your new york whatever so when you apply for it make sure it's your lifetime stuff so whether you had your driver's license since you were 17 and you lived out of state and you moved back to new york say a couple of years like you live so say you live in california for five years and then you move back to new york and you lived in new york for like five years they want to have all of that stuff with your driving record then 
the 16 hour course that's mandatory it's a good course it teaches you a lot of stuff the use of force um stuff to do if you get pulled over by the cops um so in new york state you don't have to tell the cop that you're carrying a weapon unless they ask you is there any weapons in the car or whatever um also the interview packet is has a lot of questions that you just got to answer and check off if it applies to you 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 uh check off no yes and yeah so yeah that's all after you upload everything maybe in two weeks or three weeks they're gonna email you saying that um you gotta come in to do a fingerprint when you go in to do the fingerprint that's when you pay for the fingerprint and then you could also pay for the application in person too it's a 340 dollar fee for that app that application so you pay a 300 340 dollar fee or is it 380 don't quote me on that but i don't remember exactly but it's around the 300 range so after you do that now you do everything fingerprint now you're just waiting the investigators are gonna do their job and then they're gonna reach out to you and tell you that you're approved you could always check the online status of your application while you're waiting and then once you get approved they'll send your um they'll send your license out in the mail now you have it and yeah that's basically it you get the license whatever you buy a gun it's always good to buy the gun while you're in the process just so when they print their application out the gun is on the license that's the easiest way because you don't want to get the license and then when you get the license you have to go back to add a gun you might as well just buy whatever two guns you're buying to have on your permit so yeah that's basically it that's a breakdown that's the details that's all you guys need to know um i'm doing other videos and again thank you guys for watching this video make sure you leave a like subscribe share and i'm gonna be talking about more gun stuff that's going on in new york and 2a stuff so yeah thank you guys